Hello friends, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are going to be talking about some stuff that was revealed at Toy Fair 2018. So to save you guys time, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to be using some official images and some images from TFW 2005. Links to their galleries can be found down in the description. So starting off, we're going to get into the studio series of figures from the new studio series toy line first up is leader class blackout blackout comes with a little tiny scorpionock that's all painted up and this figure looks pretty good i don't know if it's the same as the figure we originally got but this is going to be a leader class figure not a voyager class figure Next up is Leader Class, I'm sorry, Voyager Class Decepticon Brawl. And this is a new figure, new mold, and it definitely looks like Brawl from that original toy line, but I think it's going to be just a little bit different in the transformation. Next, we have Deluxe Class Bumblebee, who appears to be the same figure as what we got all those years ago in the classic Camaro version. I'll actually be getting this figure in the first wave of Deluxes here in a couple of days, thanks to the Hasbro Toy Shop. Next up is the other deluxes. We're going to be getting in line in the first wave, Decepticon Stinger, which is a brand new figure, Crowbar, which is a, I'm assuming a new version of the Crowbar figure we just got from the last night. Jazz, who I think is a new mold or a redo or a shrinking, shrunk down version of the Human Alliance figure. And Lockdown, that might be a new figure as well. Also in the Deluxe class is going to be Autobot Ratchet, who I believe is a new figure. Continuing with the Voyager classes, we're going to have a new Megatron who looks really good. Robot mode looks a lot better than it used to, and this is the first new Voyager class Revenge of the Fallen Megatron that we've gotten. Both modes I like. I'm still not crazy about the arms, but we'll wait and see. And then a brand new Voyager class, Optimus Prime. That figure is, as I said, brand new. Maybe. I don't know. I, it's really hard to tell with these studio series if they're not real new or if they're just really big retools of previous figures. And then lastly, for the leader class, we're going to be getting a brand new Grimlock, leader class Grimlock from Age of Extinction. This guy is going to be this weird metallic green color, which the figure looks really interesting in both modes. And the pictures that I've seen from Toy Fair really confirm that this is going to be something interesting that we need to keep out an eye for. I'm, I'm really, really interested in seeing where this thing goes. Next, there is a brand new Starscream figure, which I was not expecting at all. And looking at the picture, it looks, or the official image, it looks like more of a, I'm not sure how to explain this, a pared down or a shrunken down version of the ultimate or masterpiece Starscream that we got from a couple of years ago. I'm really curious to see what this one's going to be like. Now, before we move on to Power of the Primes, or Generations as it's going to be called, just a quick note, Transformers, the movie, the six, Transformers 6, whatever's coming out after the Bumblebee, or what was supposed to come out after the Bumblebee movie, has been officially canceled. Hasbro is going to look at rebooting the series probably in 2020, 2021. So who knows what we're going to end up with. We This might be the swan song for the Transformers movie lines, and we might get something completely different different in a few years. I would welcome a design change. I think the Bay Formers at this point have just gotten old, tired, overly complex, and overly pointy. Now let's move into the Power of the Primes. Now the Power of the Primes is going to be ending towards the end of this year and turning back into the Generations line. And then after that, we're going to have something called the War for Cybertron. Not related to the games, oddly enough. So let's go ahead and talk about the power of the primes. Starting off with Autobot Moonracer, that figure will be coming out a little bit later. It's Moonracer, what can I say? We already knew about this figure. What we didn't know about was, was Autobot Nova Star, who is really Autobot Firestar. She is a remold or slight remold of Autobot Moonracer. Next up, we already knew about that, knew about the leader class Evolution Optimus Primal. It's actually several figures in one, so we're going to get this squared off Optimus Primal version that looks like Optimus Primal that we know and love. He's going to turn into a surfboard, then that is going to combine with the Optimus or Optimal Optimus Primal mold that it comes with in the Gorilla Mode to make the Robot Mode. And then apparently 
both of those can transform into a flight mode and a robot or a robot surfing monkey mode. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that figure. Then we have Battle Slash and Road Trap. These two figures merge together to form Battle Trap. Yes, there are Duocons. I have reviewed, I've shot the review for these figures, and that will be going up here maybe in a day or so. Along with that review is an Autobot Tailgate. It's a redo of, um, oh, who do you, what is his name? Wind Charger. It's a uh, retool of Wind Charger. Slight retool, just a different head. Next up are the Prime Masters, Solus Prime with Octo Punch decoy armor, Megatronus with Bomb Burst decoy armor, and Bludgeon with, I'm sorry, and Quintus Prime with Bludgeon decoy armor. I'm so happy that these little decoy armors are all G1 com combiners, geez, G1 pretenders. I really like that. Next up is Voyager Class Alita 1. I have already reviewed that figure. You know my thoughts on that figure. Go check out the video review on my channel. And then finally, Titan Class Predaking. I am super looking forward to this figure. I think all of the modes of the individual robots look good. I think the combined mode looks pretty neat. The official direction or the official picture we have has the arms being a little bit better proportioned than they showed them at Toy Fair. At Toy Fair, the upper, the lower arms, the forearms were fully extended out, knees and legs. It didn't look, doesn't look good. But the official image that we have here looks very good. Also on display for Powers of the Prime is a full combined Abominus. We've got Wing Thing in both modes looking really good. We've got Center Twin in both modes looking excellent. And then we have Blot. I'm so happy we're getting an official Blot figure. I love it. And Ripper Snapper, which we already knew about. And that's it from the Transformers side. There were some Rescue Bots shown off, but not much. There is a new series coming called Rescue Bots Academy. I'm legitimately looking forward to that show. I think Rescue Bots is a fantastic show. Now, that's it for the Transformer side. A couple of little bombs were dropped off on Toy Fair, but honestly, the biggest bomb or bombshell of them all has to be the fact that Bandai of America and Saban have parted ways, and now Saban is partnering with Hasbro for the next Power Rangers series in 2019. Yeah, Hasbro. That's pretty cool. I'm really, really excited to see where this is going. I, I really want to see what Hasbro does with Power Rangers. Oh, and the series they're going to adapt, it's going to be ha Power Rangers Beast Morphers. They're bringing Go Buster to the U.S. You know, the series that years ago, Haim Saban said it was too complicated to bring over. They're bringing that over. Okay, then. I'm, I'm legitimately excited. There were a lot of things about Go Buster did I, that I didn't like, but there were there were quite a few. But the suit designs, the themes, and some of the characters were absolutely fantastic. So it's going to be really super interesting to see what Hasbro is able to do with this, along with Saban, you know, partnering up. I mean, I'm excited. I am excited. It's going to be a year away, but. There could be some real awesomeness that Hasbro brings to it. Like, can you imagine a Megazord with real articulation? I mean, that that's just mind-blowing in and of itself. So, gang, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching Toy Fair 2018 with me as well. Follow me on Twitter, at Balt Matrix. Also, follow TFW2005, at TFW2005. And also head over to the Toy Arc, ntokunation.com. All of those sites have plenty of galleries for you to check out. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, subscribe, and as always, I will catch you next time.